I'm gonna show you guys how to make the dark side impossible jump from the Odyssey. First, you wanna stand right about here. Draw a cappy. Hit it. We're off. We're close. Hey, look at that. Dark side impossible from the Odyssey. I'm gonna show you guys how to get two moons with one easy glitch. First thing is drop down here. Once you get down here, walk to the edge of this ledge and hang off so you're in the middle. Then you're gonna jump off and cap throw. You're gonna slide in, cap jump immediately, but you stay in. And then there's sand here, and you're gonna walk slightly through, barely jumping, until your head pokes through and grabs that moon, and then you're gonna come back out. And then you're gonna head this way slowly. The camera's super weird. Until you can kind of see and you can see where the Sphinx entrance is, and you're just gonna go towards it. And look, second moon. And there you go, you got two moons easy with one glitch. And I got this video idea from Sky Games, so if you like SMO content, go to their channel and drop them a sub. I'm gonna show you guys a secret way to get Captain Toad all the way up on that ledge. First thing you're gonna wanna do is run up this mountain. Once you get up to the top, stand in this corner, do a triple jump, tap throw, there we go. And so we're up here. Captain Toad is right there. Long jump. Look at this. We're big chilling with Captain Toad. Then after that, you can just hop down here. Second moon. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to clip through this wall so you can get inside the inverted pyramid before you're even allowed to. First thing you want to do is line yourself up right between the nose and the cheek. Then you're going to do a roll cancel. But what a roll cancel is, is you're going to ground pound and then you're going to press these three buttons almost at the exact same time starting here and working your way down. Now, if it looks like this, you're not doing it fast enough. If it looks like this, you're doing it too fast. And so this is what it should look like. Let's go. And see, we're on the other side of the wall. Let's get into the pyramid. And see, we're up on top of the pyramid and the tower moon is still there. Today, I'm gonna show you guys the easiest glitch in Super Mario Odyssey. And Nero, one of my subscribers gave me this tip. First thing you wanna do is come over here to the RC car room, then jump back here, look towards this pillar, and then roll. And you go right into the building. You can walk into other buildings and glitch out. And yeah, so that's the easiest glitch in Super Mario Odyssey. Sir, we're closed. Today, I'm gonna show you guys a secret way to get into the Odyssey. First thing you wanna do is stand beside this flagpole. You're gonna stand right in front of it. Then you're gonna jump forward and ground pound. And then stay crouched, walk in. So now we're glitched under the Odyssey and walk forward until you can stand up and try and be on this side then you're gonna throw Cappy and open the door. Let's go. And then crouch and walk in. And we're in the Odyssey. And there you go, secret way to get into the Odyssey. Did you guys know there was a fourth way to get on top of Jaxi Ruins? I'm gonna show you. So everybody knows going into the quicksand and the trick jumps you need to hit to get up the backside and front side of Jaxi Ruins. Before the fourth one, you wanna get on top of the inverted pyramid. And you're gonna wanna stand right about here and throw Cappy over the edge so it hovers over the corner. Then you're gonna ground pound and roll. Turn towards the ruins. Oh yeah, let's go. Then you get that moon. I'm gonna show you guys how to get to that area in Wooded Kingdom by skipping this P-switch. First thing is it's not as bad as it seems. It's just a long jump and then a triple jump off the railing. There we go, and now we're up here. We don't need no P-Switch. Ah! I'm gonna show you guys two ways to skip this 2D area in Sand Kingdom. The first way is a really easy beginner jump. You're just gonna ground pound, wall jump, and cap jump over the wall, and you're up here. The second way is a little more difficult, but it ties in better for speedruns. And that's just a ground pound jump, cap jump, wall jump, Let's see? Right on top of that moon. And there you go, you skip that 2D section. Today I'm gonna show you guys the craziest trick jump I've ever hit. The goal here was to hit Meme Tree and then do a single dive over the rock without any input from the left analog stick. Ooh. Okay, and then, could I at least land on the... I don't think I could even... Oh, okay, you're like a different... Oh, brother, this might be it. Is this it? Is this the one? <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to land on top of that rock and I'm going to be so mad. Ah! No! Ah, Mario, what is that? I've never seen that 
before. He did a 180 in midair and grabbed the rock. Dude, that is max pain. Like the special levels, I know people like do Iron Bros or something like that. Oh gosh, this is it. This is it. This has gotta be it. Mario, don't you dare. Don't you dare turn around. Mario? Let's, let's go! Let's go! Yes! We did it! We did it! That feels so good. Did you guys know it was possible to get on top of this wall without using a tank? I'm gonna show you how. First, you wanna walk around the corner to these ledges. You're gonna stand on this third ledge and you're gonna triple jump, but your third jump will actually be off the second ledge. Then you're gonna cap jump forward and then throw Cappy backwards so that you wall jump off that wall and then cap jump over the wall. Let me show you. Let's go. And we're up here. We don't need you. I didn't know tanks could be cowboys. I'm gonna show you guys three ways to get on top of Peach's castle without losing Cappy to this scarecrow. First way is you just wanna stand in the center of the bridge. Ground pound jump. There we go. And we're up top. Second way you can do from either side, you're gonna triple jump towards that tower and then wall jump off that tower. Let's go. The last way is gonna be from the back side and you're just gonna do a vertical triple jump. Oh yeah. And there you go. That's three ways to get on top of Peach's Castle. Today I'm going to show you guys the best way to get on Peach's Castle. So this is the way 90% of my subscribers say they do it. And people on the internet don't lie. So first thing is come down here and start grabbing Goombas. We're going to make a big old Goomba stack. We need to get this three stack interested. Oh, let's go. All right, we've got all the Goombas. It's time to head back to the castle. I actually do not believe you guys do this. You tricked me. So you bring the Goomba stack up to Peach and then on capture. Let's go. Let's see if I can hit this. I'm gonna show you guys how to get two free moons from this sub area in Cascade Kingdom. Once you get into the sub area, you can see there are all these orange and yellow blocks and they're supposed to help you through the level, but you don't have to use them at all. We're just gonna start by long jumping across here. Then from here, we can do a ground pound jump. And we just walk across. To get the first moon, you just go this way. Throw Cappy when the wind starts to blow. First moon. From here, go across. And again, another ground pound jump. From here, long jump. And another long jump. And you got two moons that are basically free. Did you guys know there was two secret ways to get in the Odyssey? I'm gonna show you. So everyone knows you can go in through the front door. There are also two other ways to get into the Odyssey that most people don't know about. The first is this circle on top of the Odyssey. You just stand on top of it and ground pound. And we're in the Odyssey. The second is back here on these pipes. You just want to jump on the largest one and then ground pound. And we're back in the Odyssey again. And that's the two secret ways to get into the Odyssey. I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to get to Captain Toad in Lost Kingdom. So most people will try and grab this accordion bug, but you don't have to. All you want to do is get on the wall so you're standing directly above it. Then jump, slide down the wall, Jump off, tap throw. Look at that, we're in there. Captain Toad, we didn't even need this guy. Get out of here. That didn't work. I have to beat Sand Kingdom without touching sand. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, I did. I think this way's easier. Oh gosh, try to make this jump. Oh, oh, does that count? I'm counting that. We're moving on. Try and get this moon with the capture because I have to capture Sunglass Hut down there. All right, let's go. Let's go. Nice. And then I'm gonna get on Jaxi. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be big chilling. Sand, without touching sand. This is Lake Kingdom, but I refuse to touch water. And we can obviously, we can touch all this, because this isn't water, so we're gonna be good here. Okay, I can get this moon. I'm trying to think of where I go from here. Oh my gosh, first try, nailed it. Because now I think I can make all these jumps. 
Oh yeah, I hate this moon with a passion. Can I get all these? Oh, what a clutch. Never mind, that moon's super easy. I think, I think this is gonna be possible. I think 90% of the moons I got was like underneath though. So that's why I was like freaking out about it. I was like, I don't know. Let's just vault in there, it'd be cool. Oh, that was clean. What am I doing? Yeah, like I'm just gonna grab this moon and get out of here. Let's go, easy. Dude, and lake is done. This is Seaside Kingdom, but I can't touch water or sand. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm nasty. Let's go. Let's go. You're mine, Goomba. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Cross for one moon. Well, other moons we can get are. We got that one. Long jump to here. Give it to me. And ground pound. And dropping off the moons. This is Snow Kingdom, but I can't stand on snow. Woo! Oh my gosh! throw for this let's go there we go let's see let's go and we are done with snow today i'm going to show you guys what it looks like to put 100 moons into the odyssey all right here we go 100 moons i love that sound There you go. That's what it looks like to put 100 moons into the Odyssey. Today I'm gonna show you guys the best Luigi's Balloon World spot in Mushroom Kingdom. Okay, so we have 30 seconds and we're trying to go all the way up to the top. Let's get it. There we go, and you should be good here. Today I'm gonna show you a hidden way to get to Captain Toad all the way up on that ledge in Seaside Kingdom. First thing you wanna do is when you leave the Odyssey, you wanna come over here to these forks, take them up to the top. Then you wanna ground pound on top of the potato fork's head. Then when you do, you're gonna cap jump, wall jump, and then cap throw again to end up on this ledge. So you're not supposed to be up here. Then just backflip jump, boom. And then from here, we can just do our long jump, cap jumps. Captain Toad, let's go. Today I'm gonna show you guys the best Luigi's Balloon World hiding spot in Wooded Kingdom. We have 30 seconds to hide the balloon and the clock starts when we leave the circle. What you first wanna do is grab that glide on. Then we're gonna jump off the edge. We're gonna float a little bit. You're gonna go towards this tree. And we're gonna land on one of those ledges. Right here. Right there. So as you can see, this is hidden, so you can't see it from up there. Also, because it's in this corner, they can't glide down and grab it with glide on. So they have to uncapture. The spot is awesome. Today, I'm going to show you guys a secret way to find Captain Toad in Wooded Kingdom. All the way down there on that ledge. First thing you want to do is come over here to this big wall. Then grab two fire flowers. And then jump when you get to the top of this ledge. Turn towards it. Tap throw. Let's go. Captain Toad. 
I got here as quick as I could. Micro SMO, who is an awesome trick jumper, created a new trick jumping speed run competition. Basically, the rules are you go into a Koopa free run race and you do a beginner trick jump as quickly as possible. So you know I gotta try it out. And here's a still from his big announcement. You can see new trick jumping speed run competition, go into Koopa free run and do a beginner trick jump as fast as possible. I'm gonna get started with flower power. Okay, let's do this thing. I'm in. Oh, I'm so nervous. All right, we are zooming. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Go. Set it up. Come on. Oh, let's go. Clean. I guess I could finish it off. Bang. Today I'm going to be reacting to trick jumps and Cooper free runs by the insane BK5. The Korea